Here we see our wireless mic and monitoring setup of D6000 and Evolution G4 series IEMs. This is a similar setup or a smaller setup than you will normally see at a lot of different events, whether from Sennheiser or the competition. And even though some of the components are digital wireless systems, nothing you see here has really changed in many decades. Let's revisit the logistics, planning and operation that come from working with single carrier systems like this and ensuring they perform to their best potential. First, they take up a large amount of physical space, meaning that storage and transportation require large amounts of storage space logistical support and manpower to manage. Constructing the system requires a careful understanding of all the components that are required and how to combine them properly, such as antenna combiners. They require careful frequency planning to allow all the wireless links to operate in the same venue and at the same time. And even then, we still need to be experts in physics to understand how the signal moves and interacts with the space causing us more problems, such as dropouts. We need to calculate carefully the loss of signal across the varying lengths and quality of coax antenna cable that we will need to deploy. Changing settings on the portable devices takes some effort, either requiring separate Wi-Fi networks to be set up, or you need to be in range for Bluetooth or the good old fashioned IR sync window. You need masses of portable devices to cover all performers' needs from mics to in-ears. And when you find out 10 minutes before the show that you need an extra channel or two, this can end up being a nightmare. And I'm sure the list goes on. But it has always been this way, with admittedly improvements such as the introduction of software to assist with frequency calculation or equidistant spacing to fit more channels into the shrinking RF spaces. What if we could have a product that has an answer for all of these? an ecosystem that will flip professional wireless audio on its head. Spectera is our answer. It's the world's first bi-directional digital wireless ecosystem, offering 64 channels of wireless audio in a single rack unit. Continuous bi-directional communication, including total remote control, digital mics and IEM in the same device, available at the same time, dramatically reduced system architecture, cutting edge WMAS six or eight megahertz carrier technology, 11 different audio link modes, allowing you to configure your system as required with latencies down to 0.7 milliseconds and audio quality up to fully uncompressed 24 bit 96 kilohertz. With Spectera, the future of professional wireless audio is here, and that's no exaggeration. But what is it actually? So here is Spectera. The One RU base station allows me to have 32 channels in and 32 channels out. There's no RF technology inside this box at all. It really is just the processing brains to assign resources to the wider system and our I.O. On the back, we have our I.O. with Dante and optional MADI ports. We have four antenna ports, which are now RJ45 supporting Cat5e. We have our network connection for computer access and an expansion port for future daisy chaining. And at first for Sennheiser, we have two power connections for redundancy. The next component is our DAD, or Digital Antenna Directional. This is a bi-directional antenna to transmit and receive on the same device. No more separate antennas for mics and another for IEMs. There's now a network port for the connection back to the base station. With Spectera, we have brought antenna management and planning into the digital era. CAT5E allows us to run up to 100 meters of cable, expandable beyond with media conversion to fiber. Gone are the days of cable loss calculations and gone are the days of combiners and splitters and complex zone planning and setup for mics and IEMs. Next is our body pack or our SEK. This is our combined mic and IEM unit in one pack 
giving you significantly fewer mobile devices to work with. Headphone output with a rotary controller and the mic line input all in one single device. The SEK is just the first of our portable devices and others, including a handheld, are in development or planning. This is just the physical side of it. But Spectera is an ecosystem that totally rethinks the way we plan and operate mics and IEMs. The real depth of Spectera lies inside the software and resource domain. Unlike single carrier systems where we are fixed per channel with audio quality and latency, the centralized approach and so-called WMAS technology of Spectera allows us to balance resources between channel count, latency, transmission range and audio quality and dramatically improves operational reliability. With Spectera, we can deploy resources as needed, even mid-show. Our 11 link modes allow us to choose different audio quality, latencies and range settings for our mics and in-ears, configuring the system to best suit the situation. The software control and bi-directional data enable us to deploy on-site or remotely while preparing the show. Adding signal paths or body packs is simplified, allowing quick assignment and adjustments for new devices. No need to bring in a new receiver, transmitter combination, and go through all the wiring and calculations needed to deploy it like we do in single carrier systems. Forget frequency planning as you know it beyond the initial choice of our eight or six megahertz window. One of the biggest benefits is not having to worry about reflections causing dropouts as reflections are no longer our enemy, but can become part of our diversity path. In our next video, we will take you deeper into the technology behind Spectera and what it brings to the future of professional wireless audio.